will give me public lawyer and tell me go and get a public lawyer. From my community, I get a, a public lawyer that will stand for me. Then they will say, okay, the auxiliary offenses you committed, these are your fines. And I pay it. That does not send me to go to prison. And that does not give any, any police the power over me to lock me until the person that arrests me say, open the door for, for him or her. That's what I'm saying. It's not about the law works in all the country. We are not talking that law doesn't work all the, the country. I'm talking that what power does the person have to tell them to, uh, to arrest you and keep you forever? Arifa is there. This is almost six weeks of Arifa in that place. Let's come to reality. Arifa met all the bail condition. The guy said, don't release. Don't, Arifa, Arifa is there. We don't know when they will say this, they met the judge that will sign Arifa uh, release paper. Veron is there. There was nothing they can hold Veron onto. And Veron is still there. Veron is still there. We, I'm not saying that cyberbullying, cyberstalking, and defamation is not what um, is not practiced in all the country. Well, I'm asking if you are arrested, since it's not a murder case, why not grant them bail and let them come from their houses? Let them come from their home. The law, in, in, the law, Nigerian law did not say police have the power to keep you forever. Once you are there for 24 hours, they grant you bail. They tell you on Monday, your case is already in court. Come to court. Why will someone be telling everybody, pick this one, keep this person? Is it not because to shut the remaining people up? So what I'm saying this morning is not about uh, the, the cyber bullying, cyber stalking, defamation. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, I mean, it's, it's a, a crime that uh, every country, yes, it's a crime. But how can someone just tell them, pick this person up and lock the person for as, as long as they want it to be? So why, why I'm saying this is because I, uh, supervisor always saying it's a law. Yes, when you're arrested in America, they will, they will grant you bail and come to court and prove yourself and, get, and still give you a public lawyer to defend you. What are we talking about? Thank you. Mm. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mommy God's love. Thank you so much. God bless you. Uh, God bless you, man. I like one thing that you said now that you admit that I always uh, say that, uh, which is from day one, even before I start opening camera, I've always been advocating for that. Uh, because uh, I've seen someone that such thing happened to, uh, which is just like a 30 minute drive of where I am in, um, you know, in Liverpool here. Yeah? I'm talking about Manchester and, you know, and it's not funny. Uh, the person took alive herself because of, you know, uh, cyber, uh, cyber bullying. So ever since I've always advocate for that, uh, I hate bullies. I don't like, um, anybody who, who say things they are not sure of, or you don't, you can't just speak ill of somebody's name and, you know, or try to say things just because something happened. So I've always, always advocate for that. Like, no, um, if you don't have any evidence, like hundred percent that you can show that this person you know, do this thing, don't talk about it online. You know, anybody can just come online and, you know, or twist something and change narrations and say something about somebody just because, you know, they want to try to bring their business, their personality or anything, uh, which is not uh, what I stand for. And I've always advocated that, you know, from day one. And the truth of the matter, why I make a reference to the video's case is this, ma. Uh, if the video were to be in his feelings, then the video can begin to arrest people as well. And it will be right uh, because you don't know anything. And you just come up with a narration that the video paid two million to take kidney and you saw a cooler you saw this you, you know all this kind of a thing it's not uh, uh it's not ideal it's not ethical at all because you see nothing you just see that people start saying it online you know let me say 62 to 67 percent of things that people say online might not might be false you know might be false get ready now on facebook now you're going to be seeing so many wrong narrations because facebook is paying 
So people will begin to bring a lot of headlines that is not true just because they want traffic. You know, so these are the things sometimes that lead people. But people like us, what we're trying to do, you know, is to change that narrative. We, you can have an open space. You talk to people about any incident. And at the same time, it can be, it can be peaceful. It can be clean. You know, if you notice this platform now, no rancors. We always talk. Everybody have their say. We say whatever uh, things we want to do. And there is also a disclaimer on this platform. So if someone, if says, someone commit, if someone commit that offense now, like yeah, you, someone say, um, all this crime of defamation, and uh, cyber stalking, and cyber bullying. Yes, ma'am. In the con in a country where you decide. In a country where you decide, and if that person is arrested, is the person going to be there for the rest of his life or her life? Oh no, 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 no. That will not be, mom. Um, mommy, that will not be. You understand? Uh, there is a law uh, that is attached to that. You know. Okay. Or uh, you are definitely okay. going to be taken to okay. court. Um, okay. Everything. Okay. You know, probably the magistrate or the um, people at that, uh, uh, what is it called? That side of jurisdiction that we attend to that. I'm not lost to them, so I don't know much mm -hmm. about that. So uh, they will know what to do. But what I'm saying, in a sense, mommy, is that. Um, uh, okay. I, I, don't, is I don't. I don't. I don't want. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to. Offense that has been committed is already being committed. Already been committed. So mm -hmm, what is the solution? Mm -hmm. The solution is there's a law. There's a law. Yes. Yes. Can you please me? There's a law. Okay. Yes. So the law will take its course. And for the law to take its course, the Nigerian law did not say lock these people for two, three months. The Nigerian law says 42 hours, I mean 24 hours to 42 hours, grant them bail, send them to court. I'm not saying they did not do anything now. If Arifa say, uh, Oba is this, and uh, uh, Veron say, Oba is that, and you got them arrested, the next thing is send them to court and let the law take its course. Don't use all your power on them. I'm not saying you don't have right to arrest. Arrest! And send them to the next place. Don't go and be extending their days in jail. That is oppressor. Okay. Even you are okay, committing that. Okay, okay. Now I get your point now, mommy. I get where you, thank God. I get, I now, I now get your point very well. I understand where you're coming from. Okay. Uh, thank God you don't support cyberbullying, cyber stalking. You know, I like that. Now, thank God you didn't support that because I've known you for a while now on this black app. Uh, you are... You always advocate um, for good, you know, good things, ma. And the truth of the matter is that whatever we do online, whichever platform, we just need to be very, 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 very careful. You know, sometimes some people might be online and you don't know what they're passing through or what they're going through. When you're trying to, you know, shut them through one or two things with your words, uh, it can be so detrimental, you know, to their health and well-being. So this is the reason why we always advocate and sensitize people on that, that people need to be careful with their utterances, with what they're saying uh, with to people. So please, Matt, there is um, two people. We'll continue on this um, because what we're discussing, our topic for today is let love lead among justice for, uh, for MOBAD uh, team. And at the same time, in all we do, in all our endeavor. But for now, I think uh, Vegetable Island and um, Uluwato Sin, they have some things to say. So let's just give them uh, probably for five minutes, ma. Mommy goes love, please hold on, ma. We'll come back to you, ma. Thank you, ma. Vegetable Island, go first before Barista. Hi, I Hi Super Vibes. And um, I love what Mama Ola always says. I know it's Mama Ola behind that account, but I agree with her. But I also have to be honest and say, Super Vibes, I understand why you make the disclaimer on your live. I completely understand why you do it. You're doing it because you obviously want this to be a safe place. Uh, it's your life. You can run it how you want to run it. And also you're trying to protect the people that come up on this panel and say the things that they are saying. And you don't want them to be held accountable. Um, 
for for things that they may say out of emotions okay due to what people are facing especially if they are venting because they are in nigeria uh, because it's very clear that okay, there um, is vegetable there island is... vegetable island ma sorry ma one second ma just mute ma baris oluwato just wanted to say something please ma please just yeah, go ahead cool. barista so, sure, just no for one second. sure no problem thank you thank you very much good afternoon everybody um vegetable island so sorry to cut you we love god love me more mommy god's love thank you everybody supervise thank you so much um uh, before we continue um uh, let you've muted barrister you've muted barista you sorry, are muted sorry though. okay i'm back um yes sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, i'm back um uh, please i want sorry, sorry. Uh, please, uh, please, can you mute? Um, it's not from me, Uluwa It's not from. It's from your hand. It's not from me. Go ahead again, please. It's not from me. Okay, Go is ahead. it okay? Can you hear me now? Yeah, we can hear you loud and clear. Okay. Me now. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you for yeah, giving me. Yeah, we can me. hear you loud and clear. Yeah. Me now. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, we can hear you loud and clear. Yeah. Me now. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, we can hear you loud and clear. Me now. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, please. I think I think it's Barrister that received a phone call because sometimes what happens is if you receive a phone call, she's coming back. She's just joined back again. So that's why she was echoing. She she probably will send you a request now, Super Vibes. But I'm assuming that's why she was echoing like that. Um, I think maybe she might want to touch on what Lagatelle was saying about um, if we've got any. Oh, she's back. Go ahead. Okay. Thank you very much. I think the network probably because of my call. Yeah. I want to appreciate everybody. Um, a peace Allah to all our Muslim brothers and sisters. Um, let love lead. That's the um, topic. But before we continue, please, uh, I would love everybody, if on the panel, if on the comment section, um, probably if you can just drop your questions, your expectations from the legal team. Uh, somebody will be in the comment section that will pick them. What are the things you expect from the legal team? For the past one month, what has been happening? What are the things that we want us, the legal team to do? The arrest, the protest, uh, the petition with Baba Mubad. What are you expecting from the legal team? What do you want them to do? Please, I would love everybody to drop that on the comment section. And if you're on the panelist, you can drop your submission too. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you, Barrister. Um, is it okay if I go ahead? Yes, yes, please. Yes, go ahead, please. So, After you, will love God, then mommy God's love and love more. Go ahead, okay, please. Okay, so I'm okay. going to answer that at the end of what I initially came up to say, which was, uh, Super Vibes, I respect what you're doing. I think it's the sensible way of managing a life. And like I was saying earlier, you're trying to protect people who are based in Nigeria as well and who come up here on the panel and say the things that they're saying out of emotions and you know out of fear also for how this justice of Mobad is being handled not necessarily by the legal team or Baba Mobad himself but by the government in general so I think it's more of a protection thing and I think once we understand where Super Vibes is coming from you understand that he's trying to protect you <laughs> rather and, and himself to some extent I believe uh, and when <laughs> And I think just from a logical point of view, we need to understand that things work differently depending on where you are. And for some of us that may want to visit Nigeria, you know, at some point in our lives, we want we don't want to face problems when we go there because of what we said online in 2024, you know, whatever. So, you know, just be responsible when you're on here. I don't, I, I also want to say 
like what Mama Ola was saying, which is true. I don't think people say these things out of trying to bully or cyber bully or cyber stalking. I think what's happening is people are coming up here and they are saying what they feel or what they are um, concluding could be the reason why Mobad was killed and, and also what could have uh, what could have um, driven certain people within certain sectors in Lagos State to have contributed onto this uh, oppression of justice without mentioning names. And within that, I think, again, like what Supervibes is saying, we have to be careful how we word these things just out of being responsible, okay? And it's very clear that we're dealing with a government that doesn't work like the system we have in America or in the United States. We're working with a completely different system. Although the justice system works a certain way or has certain rules and say that, um, you know, uh, for an example, I was reading uh, the, the legalities of how cyber stalking and cyber bullying works in Nigeria. And as, again, Mama Ole said it, you, you can be detained for 24 hours or, uh, or 48 hours even, but then you need to, you can be bailed and you can leave. Clearly, that's not happening in these cases for best reasons known to the people that are locked up and the people that have petitioned against them uh, and the government itself. OK, so I um, I I think we're dealing with a different beast, not particularly any individual. And because of that reason alone, we need to be careful and be tactful when things like this happen. We can't, I can't just now, now be irresponsible and come up here and say what I want to say just because I'm in the comfort of my own home in the United Kingdom. It's not responsible. I think we need to, um, we know what we're dealing with and we now need to have uh, logical conversations. Again, like Lagata has asked at the bottom there, like Barrister has asked, what do we expect from the legal team? And if many of us come up with the same conclusion that now we should be seeing a response as to why Baba was petitioned, what's the progress with the corona inquest, or what we should expect, or even what's going to happen now, what is delaying the government from giving access or uh, approval for Baba to do autopsy or toxicology, we expect some sort of update and response, okay, maybe the legal team doesn't want to speak to us. But those are the things that we should be tactful and working towards. The more you ask those questions, then the more you can ask the government when you come on these lives or when I come on here and say, what is the reason that you're not allowing for autopsy and toxicology to take place? That was, uh, as far as we are concerned, that was requested back in February, for an example. Vegetable Island, ma. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, thank you, Ma. Um, you will continue with that submission, but I think they just wanted to, uh, Barista wanted to know the minds of everybody. So let's take that two, two minutes before you now go ahead with the submission. Thank you, Ma. Can we have um, uh, Love Me More? Are you there, Ma? Yes, um, I'm here. Good um, evening, everyone, commentators, panelists, and the hosts, wherever you're from afternoon, morning, evening, night. I don't really have much to say because I've said my voice before, but the only thing I will ask the host to do is, um, I don't um, want to. Uh, love me more, love me yes, more. Yes. What Barista was yes. saying is that, what do you want the legal team to do? Just maybe about okay. two questions or one question for the legal team, what can they do moving forward? Uh, probably maybe, uh what you'll be thinking that okay this is what and what and what the legal team of baba should be doing that is okay. what barista is just asking so okay. one after the other let's just you know okay give my a... what are my question for them would be at moment should be what is happening if they've written any petition for black widow mama adura and what is the situation of the embama because um, I remember on that day, he said, even if it is uh, Adura, he doesn't care. So what is the position of that petition? And what really happened to him? Why did um, Gretchen has to 
submit his passport for Baba to go? That's my own question for the legal team. Because if Baba has a lawyer, they should stand for him. That's my own question for them. Okay, all right. Um, Thank you, Ma. That is a that is a wonderful um one. Mommy God's love, Ma. Do you have anything to say to the legal team, Ma? Um, you know, maybe it's because I I have experience uh, of a legal pro. I mean, legal proceeding, and then maybe it's, it's because of my type of person that I'm patient. The legal team, in my own view, they are doing everything in their power, but the power that be is against the person they are representing. So if it is like that, um, it's just little that you will be seeing. You won't see why we are this agitating is that. The other part, the other side, uh, they were picking our people and the other side are happy. And we thought that that we um a man to is the other side working. No. The other side are not working. What is working for them is because of the name of the person in the um, in the petition, the late uh, Mubad Root. And the name is what they are trying to take out of our mouth. And um, the person that has the name did not clear his name. If it's left for just that black widow and Baba, black widow does not have, have the upper hand. But the name in that petition that is trying so hard to silence us from calling out his name is why we are all at this level. But if you ask me, with the little I've seen these people doing, even in the face of oppression. Mommy God's love. Mommy God's love, ma'am. Sorry, ma'am. Sorry to interject you, ma'am. They are listening to uh, everybody now. So they just want yeah. one or two things that people want them to do. They are listening to us now. So they just want okay. to know if everybody's I, if, opinion. Okay. If I, I request for one thing for them to do, the only person I want them to petition and bring back to inquest is Mama Adura. That woman is a time bomb. That woman has a lot of information. Petition her and we hear more from her. She's the only person I want them to petition. petition. Thank you. Okay. All right, ma. Thank you so much, mommy. God bless you, ma. Will of God, are you there, ma? Do you have anything to um say to the legal team whatever you would like them to do good afternoon everybody well i i, I honestly i'm getting fed up on this issue seriously i won't say much seriously but i just want that justice seriously for mubad honestly the whole thing is just something else it's getting out of hands, but I know God is in total control. I don't have much to say, seriously. I just want to be in and say, let me know what is going on. Sir. It's been long I came online. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, we've had vegetable highlights. We've had mommy God's love. Okay, Mr. Abe, are you there, sir? Uh, let's have you, sir. Good afternoon, everyone on the panel. Good afternoon, the commenters. Good afternoon, boss. Good evening, good morning from everywhere you stream. I I want to say a very I big thank you, boss, for the you know privilege giving to talk on your platform. Yeah, and I really commend your you know the gospel of love you are preaching everywhere. That is, you know, something we could not take away from you. We all know you as a peacemaker. But like the question, you know, posted now that, you know, what we want the legal team to do. I think for me, if 100 people might say anything, I think 90% would be like update information. Where are we? Where are we going to? What is the position? Where was the direction? We just need the legal team to come out. Brief, brief. There's something we, you know, you brief people, keep people alive. Information keep people alive. When there is no information, people go astray. 
when it comes to the point where everybody is going to sort information by themselves, there will either be minus or addition. I, I, I like you for one thing. You always want fast and you always want, you know, sort, you know, information to come from the source. I know there was a time Bossman was talking on your platform. You have to stop him that no information you are giving, you, you know the right channel, even though the information is accurate, but you know the right channel. If information is coming from the thank you so much, sir. If information is coming from the right channel, everybody will push it. We we all know this is accurate because when this information is from second or third party, it's either you minus or you add. So we want them come address people. This is where we are. Oh, and the, this love we are preaching, you know, the peace you're trying to make. I think legacy could, you know, help in preaching this law. If there is one information, a source of information from, you know, the artist's mouth, everybody will start preaching. They won't be, oh, you said this on your platform. Oh, no, it's these people saying different things. But when we, we all have information from the same source, we, by the time everybody singing the same song, either you travel, um, bay, tenor, we see, we, 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 we creating a very melodious music, but when we not get information from the right source, it's, it's, it's either complete or incomplete. So let them come and break people, educate people. This is where we are. And I know if there are some challenges in, in the petition they be written, oh, government is not giving us this with the petition we did for a long time. And they say it's on the platform from the source. I know you will preach it. We call out the government, government, government. We had this, you know, our legacy. You, everybody starts calling out the government. But as it is now, I can't call out the government because I, I don't know if they actually send a petition or not. How do we confirm? Nobody to tell us, but if they told us, oh, we send a petition, oh, for, thank you so much, sir. For like five, four months, government is not giving all this. When the public come out, the voice will be more stronger. But when everyone is pushing it, one is pulling it down, because we're not getting any info, let them do better. Address people. It might be weekly. And, you know, there was, I, I'm so sorry to say this, about four weeks ago, you tell me, you say, oh, by next week, there will be uh, something surprise. People, you you see our handbook, a week pass, two weeks after, oh, next week, oh, every week, oh, there will be surprise. There will be over four weeks now, no surprise, nothing, nothing. Everybody is just looking like, what is happening? I, I think when people are being informed, everything we, you know, everybody will come together and we be able to push on one voice. Thank you so much, sir. I submit my mind. Okay, Ari, Ari Nine Niger, are you there, sir? Can we have you, sir? One uh, thing or two things you just want to sir. tell the Lego team to work on. Go ahead, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, good day. I am shocked that we are asking this question now. I'm very shocked because I would think, what was what was the legal team hired for? What was their mandate to start with? And already from the beginning, the wrong claim was made of homicide. When you can't prove homicide, why would you go for homicide? Because you are going to lose. Because they didn't find a bullet, uh, uh, sorry, uh, a bullet mark on his body, a knife. Uh, you can't even prove juju in court. That that's what caused his death. The thing they should have gone for from the get-go is wrongful death then you can now bring cyberbullying you can now bring he was uh pushed to do certain things to himself he was pushed to taking whatever he took that caused his death you cannot prove homicide now uh, we've gone for autopsy autopsy has come out inconclusive inconclusive you cannot find when there's no homicide on the table you don't have anything to look for in the body so i'm shocked that uh sorry uh, host i know you are trying to get to the bot bottom of things but why are we not asking what should the legal team do i'm not really privy to what the legal team is doing 
but uh, from the last speaker, the last speaker sorry, who's sorry. saying <clears throat> Mr. they've Harry. been coming. Mr. Harry, yeah. Mr. Yeah. Harry they yes, are here. Yes, they just want to, you know, have one or two things. You know, there has been back and forth. We just have a new son not long ago. So who is now the heir, you know, the lead counsel of the legal team. So they are only asking, you know, uh, to what and what do the public want them to do? They are listening no. now. So that is no. it. No, you are going to be getting, if you are asking for the public, you are going to be getting 250 million opinions. What was their own brief? What were they hired to do? That's what we want to know. That is what we want to know. What is their brief? If I go get a lawyer, I'll be, I'll, I'll tell the lawyer. If I go get a lawyer, I'll tell the lawyer, lawyer, this is my case. This is what I want you to do. So I won't go call my family members. Please come and help me tell my lawyers what they want to, what they should do. No. Who is standing for Mobad now? Because Mobad can't stand for himself. The wife is estranged. The father is busy releasing music and doing uh, talk shows all over the place. The mom, I don't know where she stands. I don't want to take uh, uh, sides on anybody because I have no dog in this fight. Is he gone? I don't know. I think he just dropped. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> what, happened, what, what happened to him? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Okay. Well, anyway, let's have other people. Um, I think uh, Queen Treasure, are you there, ma'am? Can we just have one or two things you want the legal team to, to do or go ahead with, ma'am? Yeah. Good morning, everybody. Oh. Good afternoon. Here is morning, though. Like, what I have, like, how can I call this guy name? Sanusi. That boy, Sanusi, yeah. having that dreadlock, crying, mobile die, those two boys in the car. You can, like, when you go back and watch the video, what like the time they was in the car they cry mobad die you zoom that video you can see that mobad pan okay uh, queen treasure like queen treasure that. one second ma queen treasure one second let mr Ari niger finish his submission go ahead sir okay uh, thank you uh they said the host disconnected me okay All don't right. mention baba going no 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 not the host to abba no we don't do that here sir Okay, all right. No, no, no. So no, that's no. what we don't do that. Yes, no, we don't do that. Right. Yes, sir. Sorry, probably because maybe I'm not on, one. I'm I on I my brought, house. Wife I brought you back. All right, I thank you very you much. Uh, yeah, thank you for doing that. Thank you. So, uh, finally, that is just uh, where I stand. Because the police, the police, I heard somebody say the powers that be. I heard somebody saying the government, the government, the government. What is the government coming to do here? What do you mean by the government? No, this is a separate case entirely that is happening out of the thousands of millions that are going on in Nigeria presently. And we know how it works in my country. I don't like, I don't like uh, rubbish in Nigeria because everywhere in the world uh, there is injustice. But the problem is, the more this case drags on, the more things are going to go missing, the more things are going to... They went ahead fighting for DNA. Uh, women must go do DNA. That is not the issue now, because everybody was thinking of property already. The family was thinking of property. Instead of treat the case that was on the ground, wrongful death. Tell them not to pursue homicide, because they can't win homicide. They cannot win a homicide because you have to prove it. You can't prove a homicide, autopsy inconclusive, so wrongful death. That is the only thing you can hold people against. The person that was in the car crying, he died, he died, he died. You can't even prove anything against the man. Thank you. God bless you, sir, Mr. Harry. 
Sorry, God bless you, Mr. Really Harry. Really, I'm really sorry. I'm sorry. Really I just sorry. want to find out from Harry Niger if he can tell us a solution. Yeah, a solution as to everything that he's explained, which which was great. Some I agree with, but perhaps maybe we can also get a solution as to where we should go from here on. Thank you. If I may, uh, thank you very much. Yeah, I just I just said it. Wrongful death. What you can prove. What you can prove because there are people surrounding him. We saw instances before now. Okay, where he was attacked, where he was bullied, where he was pushed. Then listen to his songs. Okay, Tupac. How many years did it take for somebody to be arrested? Because people followed. But somebody should talk to the dad. Time of grieving is over. Leave Wumi and properties. Leave, stop following the pleasure of social media. Stop following uh, the pressures of what people are saying, the celebrities who are just on their own, trying to... Sorry to interject you, Mr. Harry Nigeria. Thank you. Please, can I say something? This doesn't make sense. Sure. The comment section. You have a lot of people who want to come in. Thank you very much. Prince Ola the Magic, can we have you? Please, I didn't finish you. Oh, okay. Okay. Prince, one second. Prince, one second. Queen Treasure, please go ahead. Yeah, um, that's a Lucy. They need to bring him to Corona Inquest. Those two boys. They need to bring them. There is something they know about it. If you can take a look, everywhere, like the day Mubad died, that boy, the eye is on everything. He's going around watching people. So that boy need to come to Corona Inquest. Yeah, that yeah. boy need to come to Corona Inquest because when Mubad was crying, you can see that Mubad Pam was full of blood. He's using his hand to protect that side. That's a Lucy. He knows something. They need to bring him up for Thank you. Thank you. Um, good afternoon, everyone. Hello. Honorable Agatha. Ah, Prince Ade Dimeji, Baba. Alpha now. Good afternoon, everyone. If I get, if I get my camera, I will break your leg. Yeah. Uh, because we don't say to something. Okay. Yeah. I will definitely call you after the. I will definitely call you after the. I don't know why I'm being, I'm echoing. I'm, I'm Sorry, can I give my submission? Is moderating, am I the next person to go for it? Yeah, please go ahead. I think the moderator is calling. Go ahead, please. Okay, uh, quick one. I think um, either we like it or not, there's no way we can roll out homicide in this case. But if I'm to advise, don't let me use the word advice. If I may suggest to the legal team, based on the uh, the evidence that we have already on ground, the first thing is this: bring in a private investigator. Bring in private investigators. Is that true? In fact, true or every side. Talk about the autopsy. You talk about digital um, forensic. Don't let me say digital forensic. Forensics. Bringing um, experts on toxicology. Bring private investigators. That's first. And don't don't go through the route of because. Um, we should stop all this defensive side. Let us go offensive. And what I mean by that is all these 
petition of a thing. Let's stop all this game of petition. Let's get a court order. Now, very simple thing. It's a court order. All this petition is not working. We have a court order. It will be much more better. Petition is not working. It's not flying. It's been stepped down. We know all these things. So why are we, why are we moving around the bush and we have nothing doing? Like, let's stand up to this. So if government, at least this is a law. So if any law is going to stop, okay, you having a court order, then we we'll know where it's coming from. You can't get petition for over three months or to four months of doing private autopsy. You are trying petition in getting a court order for like for real. So I think if I'm to advise based on that two things, private investigator should come in. Let's stop being offensive, um, being defensive. Let's go offensive. And then let's stop all this petition. Let's get court order. If we have court order, a lot of things will be done. We already know where we are going to. So that's just it. If you want me to bust straight on it, that's fine. But those are the two points. <laughs> Thank you, Prince. Um, God bless you. We are still going to go back to the uh, topic of the of the day, which is uh, let love lead uh, in justice for the mobile um, team. Okay, so uh, Masonia, please let's have uh, one or two okay. things you would love the legal team to to do. Ma. Good evening, my brother. God bless you. God bless everyone on this live today. You see. We have problem here about the legal team and the general public. There is a big problem. You know, the problem we have, I have, I have with the legal team is when you try to make a point to them, maybe tell them what you understand. If, the, if that point does not go with their own um, uh, their own way, they will kick you out. And that has been a very big problem. And I think that is what we all go back to right now. Because I was in a life short time ago to life. I was in Paparano's life and I was in a Olori Ebi's life. I think this was still the topic there that people could not even, at, at, at it now, nobody know what to do anymore. And it's a result of, you don't, you have some set of people you can listen to. There's some set of people, you don't want them to talk. Maybe because they could not, they cannot speak good English, or maybe you think they cannot give, give you something that is meaningful, you understand? And it's not supposed to be like that. You understand? Last the last live that I went on the uh, each talk, each uh, the each talks live, I went there and I was saying I was not even casting Baba Mobad. There is no way in my life that I can never speak anything about Baba Mobad from day one. I've never and I will never do that. Without Baba Mobad, I am not going to be here. I am here because of Baba Mobad. Mobad is dead and gone. There is nothing we'll do. There is no amount of talk that I will talk on this platform. From now to the end of the world, Mobad is not going to come back. But we are speaking about ourselves, the, the remaining Nigerian youth, and against Baba Mobad, saying that what happens to that man is not right. You understand? That is why we are all here to support him and to let the whole world know what happened to him. But you know, nobody is above mistake. We all make mistake. I, I think the reason why you say that when they elect a president, they will still elect vice president, and they will still elect somebody that will be uh, the president, a uh, spokesperson or whatever, or a special advisor to president, is because they know that this person is a human. He can make mistake and he need people 
to help him out for some certain things. So we are all Baba Mobad's uh, children. You understand? And, you know, each time you, you want to bring something, maybe you want to talk something that, that relates to this Baba Mobad, they will shut you off. They will not even allow you to land. The last uh, life that I went for that each, I was saying that I think we are too slow in some certain things we do. These people are picking us every day. Masonia, Masonia, yes, ma. Yes, yes. Will you, yes. you, you, we still talk about all this one later. You, we are still going to discuss our topic of the day, which is let love lead. But what we are saying now presently that the legal team are just waiting. They just want to gather one or two things from our people here. What and what do you want them to do moving forward, ma? Just one or two things. Thank you, And ma. this is it. I said, my own suggest, I am coming towards that side. You understand? You know, what I expect them to do and I, what I want them to do, you see, I think they should carry the public along because the public are seriously complaining that they are not hearing anything. For example, you said the right petition, for example, you said you do this, you do that, but people are doubting you because maybe they did not see anything of that such. You understand? For you, you do it. You did it really. But for the fact that they are not seeing it, they are complaining. And I think this fight is too much for only Baba Moba to fight. You understand? Without the public, him alone cannot stand. So the, the legal team of Baba Mobad, they have been working. If I said they are not working, I am lying. They have been working. Just that the people that they are working against, they are too much. They are more than them. But they are not more than God anyway. But what you can do, I think you should throw some things on the public and sit back and watch. It's not as if you should just throw it and forget about it. Throw some things to the public and watch how outcome of it you understand it's not everything that comes from there that you can still work with but you can still see something to work with you know in this case it's so sensitive to some extent that you don't even know who is your enemy we are on this live screen now many people maybe we, you have that something people are busy something people now maybe half of them they are even anti-justice you don't know you don't know me i don't know you it's only god who knows the truth so i think they should carry the public along because the public are seriously complaining that they are not carrying them along. And in any way that they are being uh, weak or somehow, they should push more harder to make things work for us. And in this case of the people that have already arrested, please, we should do something about them. Because as it is now, nobody wants to talk again. People are withdrawing back. People are so scared of their life. Some people are on, their, on, on the run, you know, stuff like that. I think we should do something. The Lugo team should do something about that to stop all that so that we can stand on our feet, that we can speak and be free, have our freedom of speech. You understand? As you said, we are going back to another topic. I think I should just stop here. But I just pray God give us the strength and give the legal team, uh, team uh, Baba Mubad legal team, the strength. Because I know it's not easy for them. So God will God bless you, so that's thank, you. Thank, thank you so much, ma. God bless you, ma. Uh, Lolly baby, please, can we have you, ma? One or two things that you think the legal team can do moving forward, ma. Thank you, ma. Yeah, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. According with everybody live. We've been talking about this for a long time and the same thing and over and over and over. And I know it's good to have a love. Love is very important, and but love is very hard from some people. You can't force people to love you. And you can only see your mind. You don't know anybody's mind. So I cannot force somebody to love me. And I, you can't force somebody. I can't force myself to love somebody. Love somebody. Lo lolly baby, we, we will be back to I that get topic. you, I get, I get you. you. I understand. But that's what you write on okay, the Okay, Yes, we are still going to that. But for now, the legal team just but needs we, one or two things that you think. But my we will be back to like that. We, we will talk about like that. We, but my question is like we've been talking about the the legal team, what do we want them to do since long time ago? And we are saying the same thing and over and over. I don't know what else I have to tell the, the, the legal team. It's just they have to start doing the right thing like they're supposed to do. 
And I know you don't want us to talk about the lady they're already taking. Don't let me lie to you. I've been on the Facebook and on TikTok since I've been uh, working on the, putting the earpiece on my, on my ear. And that's why I get headache. You see me send message say, I have headache and it's very strong. So I take the ibuprofen. And I don't know more bad, but sometimes when you see a lot of things going on in Africa, in Nigeria, it will weigh you down. And sometimes you lost your mind because you are tired to see the same thing. This lady says something and it doesn't say something bad. And then you're taking her and you treat people different way. It's really bothering me, so I don't know what to say. I just want the late girl team to do the right thing. That's all I can tell them. We can say a million times, they only do whatever they want to do. And I think I have, I'm going to stop like that. And then when we're talking about okay. something else, okay. I will say Okay, all right. Thank you, Matt. God bless you, Lolly baby. Acupuncture, are you there? One or two things that you think the legal team can do moving forward. Oh, sorry, okay, let, I... me just, let me just say... Judge, let brief. me just say... Okay, go ahead, sir. Go ahead, sir. Okay, so well, want to say something, James. Maybe I... Go ahead, go ahead, sir. Go ahead. Sir. Okay. okay. Okay, they just get... They just get... Uh, they, they another, uh, another lawyer, me. And... I believe it will not it will not work like the way the others are working. Like as like the, the other this um, uh, other woman said, you know the um, Yenka protest. I happened if not because of the patient I have in my hospital, I would have been part of the people that would go there. I think I would have speak to the to the public. So and maybe by now they would have arrested me. If okay, we are uh, not, uh, wait, 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 I just want to say something. Uh, like the other woman said, if we are not guaranteed safety, in, in, in doing one or two things, in make it because this thing now is not for one person. We could, someone will be going this direction, other go this, this direction, provided our goal is to get justice. But if someone went, go, goes out or go, go for a, a, a protest, a, a protest, and this at the end of the day got arrested, and nobody is doing anything about it. And we are not sure of it. So I don't think, I don't think people will be forward to do what. I just want the legal team to do is that the legal team will be able one, let them try to let them try to bring like the military uh, prince said, let them bring those people involved in that house. Those people involved in that house, let them, if they say, what they can do it for the, for the next request, so that let them come and speak and let know what really happened there. I believe that that, that is the only solution that, that can be out there. Without that, I don't think that thing can be done because protests or this, they will arrest you and nobody will come for you and your family will be the one to face it. So that is what, that is my submission. Thank you so much, sir. That is a great one. Um, protection. I get that. Uh, that's 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 a good one, sir. I don't know. Maybe this user user eight one five four eight fifty thirty five is available. I think is on call. So if he's on call, then we have to go back to the topic of the day. Yeah, the reason why we're treating this topic today: let love lead. It's biblical, and I think uh, the Holy Quran talks about it as well. Uh, you know, anywhere there is no love, there is always acrimony. And wherever there is love, you know, there is always harmony. So um, when there is love, there will be peace. And peaceful coexistence among people is exactly what we'll be preaching, you know, for a while now. Uh, it's not necessary that everybody is going to love you, but let love just lead. You know, I've seen couples, you know, who, who stays together. Yeah, the love might not really be there, but for the sake of their kids, uh, you know, uh, they have to coexist in the same space. You know, everybody works and um, 50 50, they share the bees and, you know, for years and they, they do that just for the kids to grow. You know, there are so many things in this life that we live in. After justice for Mobad, uh, people are still going to be friends. Some are, <clears throat> some are going to be lovers, some are going to be business partners. And we don't want an issue whereby after the whole thing, people will now start becoming, um, you know, enemies. So, what we'll be preaching from day one since the inception of this. Uh, page and this case is that uh, we want people to 
or be at peace. Even the Bible says be at peace with all men. We just want people to be at peace with each other. Uh, so, but you can't be in peace when there is no love. It doesn't really matter the quantity of love. Uh, you know, little piece of love can make you just be at peace with someone like, hey, you know what, let's just leave him. Let's do whatever I want to do. So, you know, that is how it goes. So that is why we're treating this topic today, that let love lead. You know, without this love, there is going to be a whole lot of commotion that we'll be seeing almost every day on this black cap, gas, gas, boats, boats everywhere all day. Uh, this is not the way to go about things. And let me say this real quick, please. Uh, if anybody is here making a submission or talking about something, please don't let us interject them. It doesn't really matter the angle they are coming from. You know, this platform is an open platform. You understand? Let them make their uh, submission. Then after, then we can now uh, say whatever we want to say. I don't care who the person might be. Even if we may come tomorrow and say, hey, I want to come to your platform, she will be here. We are going to have a good um, talk, dialogue. Nobody will insult her. And, you know, whatever uh, the case may be, that is that about that this platform is welcome for everybody so please don't let us we don't abuse we don't cause we don't do all those things we are just speaking about love not 100 percent injustice for mobile in our all uh live endeavors whatever we you know do in our community in our society uh we want to talk about love so and on justice for mobile as well we want love to lead so that is what we are treating on uh, this evening prince our hebrew prince amazing man uh, Prince Aladimeji, we are going to be starting from you, sir. Uh, so what do you think about this topic? Uh, reference it to Justice for Mobad and at the same time, reference it to life. Okay, thank you, sir. Go ahead, sir, Prince Aladimeji. Then after you, we'll go to Vegetable Island. Thank you. God bless you, sir. Okay. Yeah, Um. thank you so much. Um. I appreciate that. Yeah, Um. the father is this. In any holy Bible, um, any holy book, don't let me say Bible, in any holy book or in any religious book, they always say that can two work together? Can two work together? So if there is no love, if there is no peace, it will be very, very difficult for us to ascertain justice, which is this thing has played out for at least for nothing less than six months now, if I may say, yeah, for nothing less than six months now. Since December, we've been hearing different type of, you know, eating, giving each other body eating, you know, calling people out. And I think, if I may say, from the beginning of justice, I, I always say something during all, in all my analysis, you hardly hear me calling anybody out because um, I always look at it from this angle. Me as an analyst, what of if my analysis is wrong, what will happen? What of if I step on toes of people and they come for me in the name of justice. What did I want to do? Did I have anything as a backup? Did I want to? In fact, I I have put it. I have put it aside to a level whereby when I'm giving any submission, I go straight to the point branching anywhere i try as much as possible to eliminate that now if we are going to you know get this justice there are a lot of people that we have to work with let me give example of politicians or politics i always say something yeah there is no enemy and there is no friends in politics but as far as you can play your card, get what you let me, want. Let me, let me help you with that, Prince. No permanent enemy, no permanent friend in politics. That's yeah. what you're trying to say, sir. Go ahead, yeah. sir. Yes. But as far as you can play your card to get your goals, and that's how it should be, no matter how divided our thinking 
or our way of coming out to analyze things, we should try as much as possible to come under one single umbrella, which is justice. Don't say, I'm the one that is able to achieve this. Never claim any credit to yourself. Put it across like, yes, we have achieved this. Never use the word I. It's not... It's not moving any single thing in the public domain. Because the public will tell you that what have you done and you think that no one has ever done that before. And that is the beginning of fracas, which we don't even want. So the word high, remove it in your statement. Then another thing that we should think about is this. Until we bring this peace and harmony within ourselves, even when they tell you or when the public come to badge you saying, oh, he said this on this platform, he said this on this platform, bring a proof. Are you in the beginning when it was this when it started the discussion? All those stuff until we bring peace, unity, and harmony within ourselves. That's when we'll be able to like challenge even any outsider or any anti-justice. Let me use that word. So if we are still saying I'm for Paul, all this is for Apollo will not achieve any milestone in a very short time. And I think that's one of those things that have been delaying justice, even right from the family of Baba Mubad. The father and the mother of Mubad have never come together and it's affecting the justice. Look at this um, Timothy case the wife and the family, they are under one single umbrella and they are able to come for the cause of justice. So what are we fighting for? Why is it that there is a division? Why do we have fracas? We don't need it for anything, for any single reason. We don't need it at all. That's one of the reason why we are even fighting for justice in the first place, power mongers. The people who feel that with their money they can do and undo anything. If we are not seeing any cause of equity, if we have not seen any cause that I'm not the best, if we are not seeing any cause of this person's opinion can't, if we have not seen any reason of saying that this is a call for horror, then we are not ready for justice. And for us to be able to see all these things, it will be until when we see ourselves as one body, one fold, and one shepherd. In fact, let me say all shepherd. Well, it may be difficult to say that, but we have to say it away. So that's my submission. Thank you so much, Prince Aladimiji. That was an amazing one. God bless you, sir. Um, Ma Soniyama. Now let's have your submission, Ma, on this topic we're treating today. Um, let love lead. Thank you, Ma. God bless you, Ma. Thank you so much, my brother. My you see, in everything we do in this life, if there is no love, forget about it. A prince, I've already said a lot. I will just say very few. You see, these anti justice people that you're talking about, they are so much united that I've been looking for a way that they have dragged themselves before. I've not really seen much like we, the justice uh, seeker. 
I don't know what we are dragging. I don't know. Everybody wants to see. I want to see you down. You want to see me down. And we are fighting for this same thing. That we don't want somebody to be down in our country. You don't know Mobad from anywhere. I don't know Mobad from anywhere. We are just here because we said we are speaking against evil. We said we don't want, that we want love everywhere, right? That's why we are all here. But in a case that, when, like I was saying before, on that my first speech, you will go to some platform. I choose where I go to since I joined this uh, Justice for Mobad. Whenever I go to, there's some certain people's name that I am looking for once I see them on the, on the, on the planet, you understand? I will, I will go. I will relax myself. I will know that this is my people. But these same people, it gets to some point when you go to them that this is my home. I have to relax here. I have to say whatever I want to say here. I have to bring out my pain here. And when you open your mouth to say something, they will, the way they will punch, the way they will, the way they will do you, you will not even like to go back there next time. And I see that this house I've already divided into like how many, how many group, you know? So that's for that. We are all human beings. Nobody is perfect. But what I want to say most today, I am pleading to all the justice seeker, please, for me to get a data inside my phone, for you to get that time inside your phone, or for you to take that time to come here and sit down that you want to say something about Mobad, that you don't family, you don't know anything about. That shows the amount of love you've already given out for this boy. And I think that is what should reign among us. You understand? The way we love Baba Mobad, that is why all of us come and say that we are seeking for this and we want justice for this man. We want to know what killed his son. You understand? So for us to come together, we have to work together. But all these are very far from justice for Mobad. I won't tell you a lie. Like there was a question. Sorry about that. That there was a, a question that was true to Andy, a young daddy, I mean, earlier on today, the way he answered the person on that life was somehow, and the person left immediately. After the person left, and the person was asking a way forward, right? You said that the people we are fighting, we are, that you've not seen anybody who fight governments that have won before. And I so much love what uh, the host of that life, the question that he asked immediately. He asked, he said, are you saying that we are not going to get justice? He now said, no, he did not say so. But that is the fact. And this is what I, where I am trying to go to now. With love, we can conquer everything. We are the people who vote them there. Whatever, which, whichever that is there, being president or anybody, you, you vote for that person. If the public come out and said, this is what we want, government must surely listen to us. What is one body or two or three body that will stand against the whole public? We justice seeker, we are huge, we are many. Everywhere, the whole world are seeking for this boy's justice. But I don't think the real thing, what we are supposed to do, we are not doing them. We are too slow in acting. I think that is why these people is taking the advantage on us. And it's not really good for us. Because everybody is scared, everybody is on the run now. If everybody run away from the social media, then who will speak? We have to stand firm. We have to be strong for ourselves. At this point that we are now, we have to carry ourselves along. At this point, I don't want to say, I don't, I don't, I don't like to hear, yeah, go to any platform that they will say, don't go to this platform. Don't, I will go everywhere, unless if you're anti-justice. That's only when I will not come to your platform. As far as you said you are seeking for justice, I should be free with you.
I should be able to open my mouth and talk and speak my mouth, my mind, so that we can we can rub our mind together. But you see, you go to some platform, they tell you, don't go to this platform. This person is anti-justice. And they, when you go to that platform, what the person, maybe the person have disagree in one point with that same person. That's why I tell you not to go there. No, it shouldn't be like that. We will disagree to agree. I think that is how it should be. Please, let's come together. Let's work as one. <laughs> let's work on one umbrella. Let's work together. Let's hear this man. Baba Moba needs serious help. You bring your eye down. Look around Baba Moba. If there is anybody that you think their way is not pure, maybe this person is his way of doing. We don't understand this person. Kick him out. Because even within the people around Baba Moba, there is anti justice with him. And that is why the whole thing is being like this. You understand? Let's bring our eye down. I am begging the host, the people on the forefront, please. The legal team of Baba Mobad, you've tried your best. You've done a lot. And God will bless you people. God will strengthen you more to do more for this man. This man needs our help. He needs the public help. And the public are ready to help this man. So don't just bring your eye down. Look, be a very good observant when you look around and you notice anything about anybody that this person is corny. We don't understand this way. So please kick him out so that the justice can go smoothly. Anything that you know you cannot bring to the public that is not good enough to speak on internet. Let everybody understand that this kind of thing we shouldn't be speaking on this on social media. There is a way we can do it. Let Let's go together and reach yourself together and make things work the way they are supposed to work. I believe God will help us. And this justice we are seeking, we will get will it. Us. We will get the justice by the grace of God. It's not human beings that give justice. It's only God in heaven that can give justice. And I believe it be you who that said you have power, you can fight for this man not to get the justice for his son. It's only money that you have. It's only power that you have. You do not even have the idea of whom owns your life. The person that gives you the life can take the life from you at any moment. So definitely you have no power. So I want those, this picking, picking, picking that they are picking everybody. They are doing that to shut everybody up. They are chasing everybody away from the social media so that our voice will be closed. Nobody will be able to talk. And that is why I said, when our voice is one, and you trust me and I trust you, we can work together. And love will lead among the justice for Mobad. Justice for Mobad we shall get in Jesus' name. Thank you all. Wow, that was a wonderful one, Ma Sonia. God bless you, Ma. Thank you for that wonderful uh, submission. Lolly baby, are you there, Ma? Lolly baby 37 are you there i don't think she's there so let's go to unbeatable met unbeatable are you there ma'am okay unbeatable is now on ground will of god can we have you ma'am are you there will of god are you there she's not there too one two three okay vegetable highland are you there ma'am yeah so um, before the conversation sort of moved on um super vibes i think i'm um echoing because of your mic i do apologize um i i forgot to give my submission in regards to what i want what i expect from the legal team not what i want um and i think at this stage we understand that they're dealing with a structure that is in some way making it difficult for us to be able to get this to criminal court. Understandably, fine. But is it possible for the legal team to fight many battles in this uh, case, which also includes immunization, uh, MOBAS funding, and what's actually happening with his assets? Because that's part of the legacy that he would leave behind for his father and potentially his mother as well, to some extent, and yes, his wife and you know his, his entire family. I think that's a fair argument that um, to have. So I, I just want to see more of 
that being done because it, because it is quite sad to hear that Baba is struggling to get here and there financially. And of course, many of us in here in these lives or that are on other lives, uh, I'm sure everyone is trying to do their bit. But um, um, in, 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 with all due respect, I think Mobad, you know, would have wanted for his father to eat, um, to, to, to eat some of the labor that he worked really hard for. So I, I would like to see a little bit more of that angle from the legal team, um, considering that the criminal case is taking longer than we expect. Having said that, uh, let love lead. Yeah, of course, I agree with that. Um, I agree with everything that everybody has said. And this is going to sound awful. I am not a religious person. I believe in structure, I believe in system, and I believe in <laughs> academics and science. So really, my faith relies on my own doing. And, and I know that's not a good way to live. You know, ever since I took part in Justice for Mobad, I, understand, I understood how important religion is at the heart of most people in Nigeria. And we, we, I, of course, I respect that. But I think that what I've seen or observed on this uh, justice is that, you know, Super Vibes, most people that I'm now, uh, uh, in, in general, and, and I'm not, of course, we don't mention names, is I've seen, to begin with, I trusted everybody because that's just how I work. I trust you when you say you're going to do something and I expect to see results. But what I have witnessed in the past couple of months is that you can't trust everybody on this justice. And when you really squint and you look, there are probably a handful of people that will tell me something in the DMs or that will, will inform me about something. And I truly believe them. And there are other people that have got an agenda. And I think you've mentioned that on here. And I think that's what's making this more difficult. And, and I have to admit, I think because some people have joined this mobile to further their careers, to further their successes, to see an outcome of a income source at the end of it, it's made it so difficult for all of us to kind of walk through this dark tunnel, tunnel together and get to the end of it and eventually see light even though that the system is doing everything it can to make it prolong the justice or to make it slightly difficult to get to the justice itself. Um, I, I think that we're doing ourselves a disservice by, um, by having these continuous arguments, but the continuous arguments are there because there are people within that are trying to sabotage one another in order to get ahead financially. We just have to call a spade a spade. It's true. That's why there are so many arguments going on. Somebody sees somebody as a threat, so they start a rumor or they start a story where there is none. Um, I try my best to avoid all of um, all of that. And you know, there's been times I think over the weekend where I've just avoided coming on lives. And it's because I knew what happened to Ayinka Day was unfair, was not nice, but I knew it would become an argument and as well as a blaming game, either on Baba, his team, even you, Super Vibes, or other people that are running these lives. Everyone has a narration. And the problem with this justice is there's a difference between narrating a, a certain topic and having an opinion. I'm having my opinion now. If you, Super Vibes, <laughs> I, I can say my opinion now, but if I came here and said, you know what, Super Vibes, I want the conversation to about what Ayinka Ade actually did wrong and make that the topic all day long and allow people to come up here and narrate what you've started, of course it's going to cause argument. And then I'll have to start asking, what is your agenda in here? And if you switch from one place to another, and, and, and go with my opinion and then go off with Prince's opinion and Toyos's opinion, it becomes a, a situation where, of course, arguments are going to be created. So um, I, I, I think that's the main problem here. I try and like everybody, <laughs> even the people that I've, I have 
I shouldn't use this word, but even people that I've grown to dislike, I still try and hear them out because like Prince said earlier, we have to now, it's a shame that we have to now start looking at this justice as if it's politics. Even the people that we don't like, we try and get along with them because at the end of the day, we're all heading towards the same goal. It's just that my goal is to make sure Baba Mobad gets the, um, the, the dignity that I think he deserves and to be treated fairly as a citizen of Nigeria and at large as a citizen of Earth. Okay, that's just the way that I see it. But then other people's their agendas is to try and get to the end of this justice to say exactly like what Prince said, I did this. This is what I did on this justice. And I think that's where the, the, the arguments um, are, are sort of coming from. So um, that's just my contribution and I'm gonna mute. Vegetable Highland, God bless you, mamas, always. Um, let's go now to um, Toyo C. Can we have you now, Toyo, baby? Good <laughs> afternoon, good evening. Thank you, Super Price. Can you hear me, everybody? Hello? Yeah, we can hear you loud and clear. Go ahead, go ahead, ma'am. Okay. Like, what, uh, my own competition, what I can just say is that for love to lead, I think that we have to love ourselves first because there are some times that someone will be on the panel and some people are under comments. So some people will be talking. You know, there's a way that we talk and there's a way that some people, they listen and understand what you are saying. Before you even land, they've already times to your word or times the word you are saying. And maybe you, you, you didn't mean it that way. So I want us to be, to be calm with each other. And if there's anybody that offended you, one way or the other, maybe the, the, word, the word of her speech or his speech or whatever she comments on the comment section, don't take it personal. Just take it that because we are, we are woman being, we, we are different people. We've been raised from different homes. We are not from the same place. There's a way you will, you will digest some words in your system. That may not be the way I would digest it. But if we can see ourselves as that there's one thing, there's one purpose, there's one, one, one uh, mission, there's one thing that day that drove you, that brought you to justice for Mubad. There's one spirit that allowed you to be on this, on this race. Nobody, nobody came to meet you. Nobody came to pay money to you. You came willingly. We came with a pain heart that someone was doing wrong that someone was being lost that they saw is being lost and the way he was beat he was dead is not a normal dead is not an ordinary dead there is nothing that someone would do for you i am not saying that no, you cannot it's not that you should not get upset but there's a limit when you want to get upset you can just you can leave that premises you can leave that uh, that uh, that uh, the, uh, the uh, you can leave that life you can or go to another place so you can calm down don't be because there's a lot of distraction that we are going and when you have that okay this one said this and that one said this and that by the time you are piling them up you become hatred how will love flow within us we have to be able to accommodate each other when we accommodate each other, we understand each other and be able to go with goals of love. I don't believe that we, that we are team together, we are looking for justice for bad that we have to, this one said this, this one said that, that's what has been causing uh, a lot of things. Please let us live in love. There's a way we can live in love. There's some things that someone will do for you. If you know that person, personal, you can call the person. Or maybe on the comment section, oh, my sister or my brother, what well, you said that time, I didn't mean it like that. And let it go. Let it fly away. Don't, don't let it. Because you see some people, they go to another life. After they, when they finish from this life, they go to another life and they start commenting on another, on another thing. That, okay, she, she said this last week. She said that last week. She said that in the night. Why can't you? just and there's a way that we're supposed to if anybody do something to you if you can solve it now now solve it and if it cannot be solved just let it lie that does not make you that you are you are stupid that does not make you you are you are foolish that's not not limit you most of us we don't know ourselves but one thing brought us together 
And what brought us together has to live, uh, it has to go with love. If we don't love each other, if we cannot accommodate each other, how will we be able to achieve? How will we able, how will we able, he say, the Bible says, except to tango together. If we don't tango together, we cannot achieve, we cannot walk in love. <laughs> so I just want to say, many of this is nine months we'll be on this journey we'll be on this path we'll be going up, up up and down back and forth please let it lie let it go anything that someone have done to you please so that we can achieve so our time our sleepless nights our not be able to eat properly not be able to function properly that it will not be wasted that we'll be able to focus and achieve this and one thing again i want to say is not uh, i just want to to yeah, put in this please nigeria people people that you are in nigeria please i use god beg you it's not that someone is telling you not to speak it's not that someone is depriving you of your speech it's not someone is trying to control you i'm just using this opportunity to say that you that have to go line please low key you people in nigeria just go low key for now at least let us gather together please supervise if you have the other i've said it in uncle lati platform if you people can gather together you already know the because there's a lot of stitch there's a lot of bad people among the justice for mobile that we think that they are really justice but they are enemy but they just they came to get an information and they really entered us like judas was and that was with jesus a lot of them have entered us. please if you people can get the honest people the host that you people can gather together baba mobile to said he said that there's a room for for lawyers that they can work on that shit too i think this is the time for we the public we are the public this is the time we can come in and have our own lawyer so if they carry anybody that went for protest so it will be the same lawyer that will work for them and immediately they will be able to feel them immediately they will be able to be out of there immediately their family too will know that okay your time is not being wasted that you'll be on life for five hours for nine months that there's no that Like you are be on life for like all the all the all, all your days for like five uh, five days to, uh, you be on life and nobody when anything happened there is no lawyer please this is the time for us the public that we can have our lawyer so if they pick me as I'm talking there will be a lawyer for me the same lawyer is working for me if they pick a vegetable there's a lawyer for her if they pick any one of us because we will not stop no retrieve no surrender we are not stopping but now we have to work at fast and god will be with everybody thank you so much god bless you all thank you for coming. thank you for that wonderful submission to your cr server god bless you ma man no be god can we uh listen to your submission ma man no be god i like that name go ahead ma'am are you there man no be god man no be god man no be god are you there sir are you there ma'am I think uh, she's a woman. Okay. All right. Uh, if she's not there for us now, uh, let's continue with what we're discussing, which is let love lead. Um, I think uh, Mr. Lagata said something else quite. Okay. Uh, we have uh, one of our erudite uh, comrades. Uh, one of our, uh, let me say this, uh, a professor. <laughs> Maybe I should use the word professor. Okay, don't let me start with the hyping of a thing. Uh, Mr. Aristocrat, welcome on board, sir. Uh, what we're discussing today is all about love. Let love lead. Um, I'm peaceful coexistence among the J4M. So that is what we're discussing. If you have anything to add on that, uh, it is welcome, sir. You can go ahead, sir. Uh, just hold on for me. Give me like a minute. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right, all right, sir. So what we're discussing today is all about love. Let love lead. Uh, it's not particular to just uh, justice for mobile alone in all our endeavors in life, in all ramifications. This is what we're trying to bring up because where there is love, uh, there is harmony. Where there is no love, there is acrimony. So uh, we're saying this to everybody who is listening now and uh, wherever you may be listening from, uh, that let love lead. And on J4M, we want love to be the order of the day. When there is love, there's going to be peace. You know, but when there is no love, there is going to be pieces, uh, which is exactly what is happening now. Uh, like what I told you, see, Prince Ade, uh, Ola Demeji, will of God, I said earlier, uh, we've seen so many narratives and uh, 
uh, people change generations. Some people will comment here, they will go to the other page door to, you know, cause quarrel, cause fight, so that those boosts can begin to uh, flow. These are the bad energies we don't need, we don't want anymore. So we want love to be the other of the day. We want love to keep leading. It doesn't really matter that people have to come together to walk under one umbrella, uh, but where there is peace and love, people can walk, coexist peacefully, uh, wherever they may be and there won't be any bruhara so these are the things we are preaching and we'll be trying to sensitize people about all this for a while um you know let's have uh, a peaceful coexistence among everybody it doesn't really matter who you are uh commenters or panelists or host or whatever we just want everybody to be in peace and not pieces and we want love to be leading each and every one of us so this is what we'll be talking and discussing uh, since money this is the topic of the day so if you're ready for us now mr aristocrat please you can go ahead sir all right uh, but uh i would say and good evening to everyone i think you did a new, a new job you know to be the speaker. This is the first time me have been on the platform. of me, I usually don't move from platform to platform. But I was just, I just saw you now and said I should come. So I think one thing that is salient for everybody is we need to define the justice we are coming to first. If you know where you are going, you are going to get people that will tag along with you, that you have similar aim, and you will be able to move. I'll give a very simple analogy. 20 people in a bus going to a place. The bus has the final bus stop as its final destination for the passengers, but will surely go to the park to park. Now, everybody in that bus, if you are not from the same house or you left your home going to the same place, you will never, your destination can be the same. But for the purpose of the journey, from the standpoint, you are at the same aim as post. That is to move from one point to the other. And I think that is how people should deal with this justice quest. <laughs> Permit me, I do not call it God. Permit me, I don't call it justice movement. I call it quest for justice. Because there is so much division and rancor. So you cannot call it movement. A movement is a part that people agree to achieve one common thing. But from the beginning, I don't think everybody came to it because of the spur of the moment. And when it is time to define the real thing you want, we were not able to do it. No, I'm not blaming anyone for that. But we then need to understand the peculiarity of it, just like Nigeria with many nations in it. And this is the justice of it. This justice of mobile quest is another Nigeria. Different people, different ideology different destination, different meaning for one thing. But there's always a call that is seeking justice. So for me, if you want to seek justice, you need to understand what justice itself means to each one of you. When you understand it, how can you align it with that of others? If you align with that of others, you need to play your football team. Not all players will be the striker. Some are strikers, some are supporting striker, some are mid midfield players, different wings, some are defender playing different wing, some are central, and that is the goalkeeper. And some are seated to help those who are there. And you still have the training, the, the, the coaching crew. Therefore, we need to understand these dynamics of what we are doing. Supervise will be doing things from his strength. It should be accepted and recognized for that, not to be pulled down and to be made as if it does not matter. 
um, man of the God will be doing things from his own place of strength. He should be recognized and you allow him to contribute in his own sphere. At the end of the day, we'll be able to galvanize everything and make something out of it. Exactly. He's a midfielder, believes he's going to be the goalkeeper, he's going to be the defender, he's going to be the striker, he's going to be the coach, he's going to be everything. He will be worn out and people will hate you. At the end of the day, the aim of the team will never be achieved. Peace is good, but it is an idea. What matters? is respect for each other's role and end those respect. Don't force it on people. Leadership is not given. Leadership is not you it. It should be given to you by your service. If you do not serve people, they will not trust you. If they don't trust you, they can't make you their leader. So don't force yourself to be a leader. But always ensure you are a team player that plays his own part in your service. And I think that is the love, actually. If all of us have at the back of our mind that in this, we are giving a service, not just for Mubad that died, because he's dead, not just for his family, not just for Lagos State, not just for Nigeria, not just for Africa, but for human race and generations to come. Then think you understand it for the it is a privilege for me to be involved in this. And that is why I chose my the area I want to play. It's not my area of strength, but I see it as an area I need to play. Because I noticed that direction is missing. And when direction is missing and people begin to pick side, just like uh, Vegetable Island said, we will lose the love because we begin to have what is our own cause? How can we actually? We know who we are up against. We say you are fighting God. Yeah, I don't think so. I only think that we are fighting people that have influence in the government. The part of a city that they feel they can influence is because they have people in power. But we, are the states the definition of the state is the people without the people there is no state they are doing the job because it's done without getting to trouble that is what i've been preaching since saturday the people we are dealing with are looking for our mistakes we should not make those mistakes christians in the book of psalm there is a place in the psalm that says, deliver us from the hands of the fowlers, from the snare of the fowlers. They put snare everywhere. There is booby trap everywhere. It doesn't mean you will not get to where we are going. Mind the gap. Once you mind the gap, you will be successful. Once you mind the gap, you will not see that person as your enemy, but as a support for you to get what you want to do. Mind the gap so that people that trust you and entrust you with the tax within the team, when you are about to achieve it, your error will not pull them back again because you failed to mind the gap in the process of discharging your duty. And that is why, because you fail to mind the gap in the process of delivering your own tax, that is why when the enemy babbles you like this, it will draw everybody back. It is not in the interest of the old sphere or the old concept of justice quest. It is not in the interest of everybody. For some, you know, to be doing things that will draw people back. But it is the interest of everybody to try to work within the ambit of law, civility so that we will not fall into snare 
of the fowler. So that when we are doing whatever we're doing, they will look for error they will not find. That is when we are most powerful. And I think that is the basic understanding of what we are doing. So what is just for me? What is for me? Do I respect other people within the just, the just box that we all find ourselves, knowing that we are all going towards a destination? And the destination is to have a better society. The death of Mubarak is only a wake up call for all of us, for those who also fall prey of these evil people. Let's think about the larger people. It is not about us. The great societies have people that suffered for their society before some people enjoy it. Let it be as an opportunity for us to persevere, to suffer for the generation to come. But we lay the foundation with acrimony and fact and discourse. I don't think that is wise. You might not like my opinion. You might not like my style. What you need to do is to understand it and bring it and see how it will work. If it will not work, whoever brings it and I have it will work. Because you will subject it to the same thing. And you discuss it. The person will not feel bad. The person will say, at least you listen to me. It's because it didn't work based on what we want to achieve. Everybody will be happy. And that is when you will see enemy that have, you know, find ways into the ranks. That is how you will see them because they can't wait. We always say the people on the other side are doing better because they have a focus. They're not better than us. They have a focus. They know where they are. They have a singular focus. We have multiple destinations. Multiple. So at the end of the day, what we are going to say, other people will do it on that side of that. I think we can do better. But it is high time we press the reset button and restart and start that. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you so much, Aristocrat. Thank you so much, sir. God bless you. Uh, and on this note, we're going to call it a day. Uh, it's a wrap for today. And um, thank you so much, everybody, Prince Aladdin Meji, and everybody who has been on the panel uh, to the will of God, man will be God, and our erudite comrade, uh, Mr. Aristocrat. Uh, thank you so, so much to all the gifters, the commenters. Uh, we say, um, say la vie for today. Um, hopefully, tomorrow, uh, we shall see one another again to continue on this quest uh, of love and peace. Uh, so peace out to everybody. Uh, nice.